In this example, we're going to look at the new Toolpath Feature Options for FeatureCam 2012. Although we're applying these to a 2.5D example, these will be applicable to other areas of the product. Here we can see we've got a number of features on this bell crank part. I'm just going to run through the centerline simulation. So the first area we're going to look at is inside this whole region here, where we've done a helical milling operation as a side all the way down through the part. To create a toolpath feature, one of the new options is I can right click on the feature itself and say create toolpath feature. Say yes. You'll now notice a toolpath feature has appeared in the list and you'll notice it's also appeared in the part view. I can right click on this choose the properties, I'm going into the toolpath area and clicking on toolpaths you'll notice that we get the lines that represent that toolpath feature. In the case of this feature what I want to do is I want to generate a dwell at each stage as we work our way down the part. I'm going to hide everything on the screen for the time being and then view from the side. So here we can see the enclosed area. What we want to do is we want to apply a dwell around this region. In this case I'm going to apply just after that process. So we can simply double click and enter our dwell. In this case we'll do two seconds. Say apply that dwell is applied to the toolpath and I can make my way down to the next stage and again do exactly the same double click enter a dwell and apply again working our way down to this stage enter a dwell and apply So as I apply the dwell in each particular stage, this will be reflected in the NC code. So I now have four dwells on the part. I can choose OK. Let's bring everything back. I'm going to move my toolpath up the list. And in that side operation, I'm going to turn off the roughing. You now notice that we have the toolpath as our roughing operation. If I run through the simulation and check the NC code, note that I'm using the FANUC 0M that's been specifically generated for this toolpath feature. As we scroll down, we're going to look for G04. And you'll notice I get my P2000. Like so. Next area we're going to look at is this side region here. So we have side 2 and side 3. And again, in this case, we're going to look at part of this operation. So into the properties, we're going to preview the toolpaths. So we have an initial roughing, we have some rest roughing, and then the finishing. So in this case, we're going to work with rough pass 1 on side 3. So rough pass 1 on side 3. Again, I'm going to right click and say create toolpath feature. Again, viewing the toolpath. You'll notice we have all of our segments on the part. So I'm going to choose to hide all of these. Let's refresh the view. And we're going to insert an M code, a conditional stop at the end of each slice. 
So again, I'm going to find my end position. It's just at this location here. And I'm going to insert NC code. In this case, I'm going to enter M00. And we can also place a comment. In this case, maybe the user wants to check the tool. Apply and OK. You'll not notice we have the M00 check tool. I'm just going to apply this for now. Say OK. And again, inside 3, in the properties, I'm going to uncheck the roughing operation. And again, play the simulation. Go into the NC code and looking for the M00. You can now see it's entered my command and my comment in there. So the key thing here is that your post must support the UDF text and it must also support the dwell if you want to include these operations from a toolpath feature.